Hallelujah. Welcome to church. Good evening, everyone. God bless you for coming this evening. As we begin tonight's study, let us just bow down our heads for the word of prayer. Our Father and our God, we thank you once again tonight. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for that which you have done. We thank you for that which you will do again tonight. Be thou exalted, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, we pray, even as we have gathered together here, we pray we will not return the same way we came in the name of Jesus. We pray that your servant that you have prepared for us, Lord, unctions from above, we fall upon him this evening. And we pray you will speak directly from your throne and we will all be blessed in the mighty name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. As before we go on, let's just listen to this brief worship just for a few minutes. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Oh, magnify, magnify the Lord with me. It is just good to be a part of this end time movement to praise the name of the Lord together. And tonight as we join with the voices of heaven singing, Hallelujah, for the Lord omnipotent reigneth. Tonight we declare also that there is no one like him, no God like him, no king like him. We worship the King of Kings. Help me worship the Lord of Lords. Help me worship the King of Kings. Right where you are, just lift your hands and declare, He is great. He is great in might. Hallelujah. Come on, lift your hands. Hallelujah, yes. The healer is in our midst. The deliverer is in our midst. And we worship you, Lord. There is none like you. None like you, you are great, and your name is great in might. There is none like you, there is none like you, you are great, and your name is great in might. Hallelujah, there is none. None like you, you are great, and your name is great in might. We rise with healing in our wings, truly, truly, you are king. If you believe that, lift your voices and say, There is none like you. Hallelujah, Jesus. One more time, say, There is none like you. Mm, that's it. Let him hear you. Hallelujah. Let him hear you. Give him thanks for being faithful. My God, my God, I worship you, Almighty God. There is none like you. I worship you, O oh Prince of. is what I long to do. I give you praise for you are my righteousness. Mm, I worship you all my There is none like 
saving us. Thank you for your presence in our lives. Thank you that even now you're healing your people. Thank you for delivering us from the spirit of fear. Thank you for your peace that passes all understanding. Thank you, Father. You unravel me with a melody, melody, melody. You surround me with a song of deliverance from my enemies. The Lord, fill me, fear them. All of them gone I'm no longer a slave to fear I am a child of God God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, glory to God. That was awesome, that was awesome. Uh, it's my pleasure to invite our brother to bless us with the word of God. And I want to assure everyone that has joined us this hour that your life will not remain the same at the end of this word from the throne of grace. God bless you. It's my pleasure to invite to take us this evening, our brother from Belgium, uh, International Baptist Church in Belgium, Antwerp. And I want to welcome you. Welcome, sir. God bless you. It's a pleasure. It's a privilege having you in our midst this evening. So let us give our hands together, put our hands together as he comes on board to uh, lead us in the word of God. Welcome, sir. God bless you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, brother. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. And I want to thank everybody for joining this evening, wherever you're watching us from, all over the world. I want to thank God for you. I want to appreciate the goodness of God in your life. And we thank God for what God is doing at this very moment, in this very era, in this very end time. Our God has been so faithful, and he has been so wonderful. First and foremost, we give him all the praise. We give him all the glory. And I want to appreciate our brother, Bro Stephen. Thank you for inviting me. I want to say you're doing a good job, a great job over there in the UK. We love you. And a big greeting from our brethren here in International Baptist Church here in Antwerp, Belgium. Uh, God is so faithful and God has been so wonderful to us here. He has been so marvelous to us. Sometimes when you hear about Baptist Church, people believe that, oh, he's an orthodox church. <laughs> Oh, what is happening in Baptist Church? But the Bible made us to know that at the end time, God is going to pour out His Spirit upon all flesh. And the Spirit of God is moving in a mighty way, in a marvelous way. God is doing great and wonderful things, even in our midst. And we bless Him for that. And once again, I bring greetings from all our members here in Belgium. They say hello to you. And I want to thank God for all the members of Gospel Pentecostal Assembly, London, uh, Living World. May the Lord God Almighty bless you. And may the goodness of God be upon you in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us pray. Everlasting Father, once again, I want to give you all the praise, I want to give you all the honor. I want to thank you, Lord Father, for this moment like this. I want to thank you for your goodness. I want to thank you for your mercy. I want to thank you for the love that has been our courage from the ages past. Because the Bible made us to know he said, for God so loved us that he gave us his only begotten son. Daddy, I want to thank you for this love that you express unto us by giving us your son Jesus to die on the cross of Calvary, to take away our shame, to take away our pain, and to die in our stead. And that is why we are living today. Daddy, we appreciate you, and we cannot thank you less for that grace that we say may your name be glorified in Jesus' name. And I want to thank you, Lord Father, for your word that you are sending this evening. The Bible says, for he sent his word 
and is what he led them and delivered them from all their troubles. There are so many troubles we are going through physically, spiritually, in every area. But your word is coming forth to deliver us from it all. That we say thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus. And that I want to thank you, Lord Father, for every soul under my bones this evening. May you, God Almighty, bless them. May you deliver Amen. them. Do something wonderful in their life in Amen. Jesus' name. And I pray that, Lord God Almighty, is there anyone that is sick right now? The word of God begin to heal you right now. Amen. You Amen. 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 God, there is no distance in the spirit. I deeply mm. feel it from above in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. May be. The Bible says we are our body is the temple of God where the Spirit of God dwells. So therefore, wherever the Spirit of God dwells, sickness cannot dwell there. Wherever mm -hmm. the Spirit of God dwells, problem cannot dwell there. Wherever the Spirit of God dwells, there is no failure there. So therefore, I decree, I decree healing in the name of Jesus. Amen. And so shall it be. And as we Amen. proceed this evening in your word, Spirit of the living God, may you go with us. May you mm -hmm. give us that understanding. And I pray mm -hmm. for all us from the throne of mercy. Amen. Thank you, Father. In yeah. Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Wow, what a wonderful evening to be with you this evening. Uh, once again, as we say, we give God all the praise and we give him all the glory for what he's doing and for what he's still going to do today in our midst. And we pray that God Almighty will deliver us all in Jesus' name. Let's open our Bible to the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 4 verses number 17 and 18. That is where we are going to take our text from for today's Bible study. Second Corinthians chapter number 4, verses 17 to 18. <coughs> Excuse me. The book of Second Corinthians chapter number 4. Seventeen to eighteen. Amen. Are we all there? He said, "For our light and um, and momentary troubles are achieving for us an eternal glory. Therefore, our outweighs them all." And number eighteen said, "For we fix our eyes not on what is seen, but on what is unseen. What is unseen." is temporary but what is what is seen is temporary but what is unseen is eternal i take that number 18 again so for we fix our eyes not on what is seen for we fix our eyes not on what is seen but on what is unseen since what is seen is temporarily but what is unseen is eternal ah uh, the title for our study this evening is Enduring the Moment. Enduring the Moment. In this very era, in this very time, there is a letter of Brother Paul to the people of Corinthians, trying to encourage them, trying to let them know that whatsoever they are going through as a believer. There are so many things we are going through as a believer, especially in this very era, especially in this very time. When we look at the world today, what is going on in the world today, for example, when we take the pandemic that has been going on all over the world, that has affected both Christian, both non-Christian, both Muslim, everybody, talk of it, even animals were affected by it as well. Everything, even the nature, felt the impact of what has been going on for the past few months on this planet Earth. But we give God the glory, our God, the God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ that has kept us up to this moment that has been guiding and that has been protecting us. And Brother Paul was trying to admonish the people of Corinthians that a time will come that when you are going through all these things, they are temporal. Whatsoever you are going through at this moment as a believer, it is temporal. He said, for what you see are just for a little time, but what is unseen is eternal, which is in glory. And the beauty of it is that when we have Jesus as our personal Lord and Savior, and when we have the Holy Spirit, which is the helper that will enable us to be able to move 
and that we enable us to be able to achieve and that we enable us to be able to endure whatsoever that is happening. It doesn't matter what is happening in your life as a Christian, what is happening in, in this journey as a Christian, because as a child of God, it doesn't, it doesn't mean that when you become a child of God, everything is going to be perfect. Sometimes things may be rough, but what is the basis? What is going to keep you going in the Spirit of God that is in you? What will keep you going is the ability that you have Christ in you. The Bible made us to know in the book of John, chapter number 14, verse 26, said, but the, speak, but the helper, but the helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, meaning that when the helper comes, he's going to help you to be able to endure the moment. When the helper comes, it's going to enable you to enjoy the moment. You are not going to enjoy it, but you will enjoy it. Even in the tribulation time, you will surely enjoy it. Why? Because the helper, which is the Holy Spirit, will always help you and will always uphold you. And that is why Jesus was telling the disciples, he said, I will never leave you alone, but I will send you an helper. And when the helper comes, what is he going to do? He's going to help us. What is the duty of an helper? A duty of an helper is to guide, is to lead, is to help us in every area, both spiritually and physically. Holy Spirit is not helping you only spiritual aspect alone, but it's going to help you both spiritually and both physically. It will help you in every area. All you need to do is just to commit that moment into the hand of God. All you need to do is just to connect to him. All you need to do is just to hold on to him and see him as this is my helper. What we need, we need that helper at this era. What you need, you need that helper at this moment, which is the Holy Spirit. And that is why Brother Paul was admonishing us. He said, for what we sin, this suffering we sin, everything we are looking at as a suffering, they are just temporary. They is not going to tarry for long. But what is unseen, meaning that when we hold on to Christ, when we hold on to Jesus, when we allow the Spirit of God to help us, that which we that which we do not see is what is eternal. In Him we are going to rejoice. In Him we are going to live. In Him we are going to endure. In Him we will have eternal life. Hallelujah. John chapter 16, verse 33 said, I have told you, meaning that Jesus was telling the disciple that. I have told you in this world there will be tribulation. In this world there will be trial. In this era there will be difficult moments. But one thing that is certain is that where you are in me, you will surely have peace. What are we talking about this evening briefly? What are we admonishing ourselves about is that all we need, we need Jesus Christ. All we need is Christ at this moment. All we need is Christ at this era. That is why I have come to admonish that brother or that sister that is going through one tribulation or the other, either in the Christian journey or either in the physical or either in marriage or wherever. Hold on to Christ. Just know that everything that you are going through at this moment is just temporary. Whatsoever that you are going through at this moment, they are just temporary. Where you hold on to Jesus, where there is peace. Where you hold on to Jesus, where there is joy. That is why he said, where we just read it, he said in John chapter 16, verse 33, he said, I have told you, I have told you this thing, I have told you this thing, so that it in me you may have peace. That is, in me you will have peace. Jesus is king of peace, meaning he is the custodian of peace, meaning he is the one that creates peace. Meaning that when you have him in you, you have peace. When you have the Holy Spirit, you have peace. He said, these are the fruit of the Holy Spirit. In the book of Galatia, he said, peace, joy. These are the fruit of the Holy Spirit. When you have the Holy Spirit in you, you will have peace. He said, in me, you will have peace. Meaning he said, in the world, I have not promised you that the world is going to be perfect. I didn't promise you that the world is going to be a beautiful place. As many will promise you, oh, you don't worry. Everything is going to be beautiful. Everything is going to be wonderful. Everything is going to be rosy. Everything is going to be perfect. No. Jesus said, in this world that we have, there will be tribulation. There will be trial. There will be a difficult moment. There will be a difficult time. But where you have me, you have peace. Hallelujah. He said, in this world you will have trouble, but take heart, do not worry. 
in this moment you will have trouble but take her do not worry do not get disturbed do not overwork yourself oh how would i live how would i survive how would i get things right how would i pay my bills everything is going upside down these are the things we can see but when we have jesus christ we have eternal life when we have the holy spirit is going to guide us through he's going to help us and he's going to give us peace even in the face of storm even in the face of challenges even when it looks as if this is not even working at all but when we have jesus christ we have peace in us there will be a tranquility everything will be perfect in us two people will be looking at you how are you surviving even in this era even in this pandemic time even when things is not even happening even when there is no job but you are just looking good but they don't know the secret that is one thing that is why you can give that testimony that my secret is the holy spirit in him i have peace because when you get connected to jesus christ you have peace hallelujah you have peace amen that is one of the things that can help you to endure this moment that can help you to endure the pain and suffering it could be in, the, in, in this journey that we are in which is the journey of light brothers and sisters you can be a christian today things me know oh you say oh when i was in the world everything was okay but now i'm a christian oh this is not going on fine but brother just know that and it's just for a little time is for a little time is for a little moment all you need to do just endure that little moment endure that little time endure that little suffering do not compromise your faith do not look at what people are doing in the world do not say oh see my fellow friend oh this is happening for them can you imagine everything is okay everything is perfect oh i am here confessing christian but this is not happening but when you be able to endure that little time, God will turn things around for you. Hallelujah. I was discussing with a sister not too long. He said, bro, I said, when I was in the world, I, I had direction. But now I'm, I, 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 I'm a Christian, I'm a born again Christian. But it looks as if this is not working. I'm confused. I said, oh, sister, you don't need to be confused. These are the trial of the moment. These are the trial in this journey these are the trial that you will face even the bible made us to know that jesus even faced the trial as well but he endure he endure that is why brothers and sisters i am trying i'm encouraging all this evening that we should endure this moment and how do we endure this moment when we have a helper is the only one that can help us to endure the moment and who is the helper the Holy Spirit. He said, and I will pray the Father, and He will send you an helper. I will pray the Father, He will send you an helper. He's not just going to send you just somebody, but an helper that will guide you. Oh, hallelujah. When you have this helper, He will guide, He will direct, He will give you direction in every area. Not only the spiritual area alone. Do not come, do not confirm the Holy Spirit. That, oh, it's all about prayer. No, it's not all about speaking in tongues. No, it's not all about reading the Bible. No, but even in your marriage, Holy Spirit can guide, will guide you. Even in your secular job, Holy Spirit can guide you. Even in your business, Holy Spirit can guide you. Even when you are confused about your education or about your career, that is where you need the Holy Spirit. That is where you need the helper. All you need to do, why can't you talk to Him? The Bible says, commit your way unto the Lord and trust in Him. There is one thing to commit your way unto Him. There is one thing to tell Him about your trouble. There is one thing to tell Him about what is happening in your marriage. There is one thing to tell Him about what is happening concerning your business or concerning your career or concerning your even the ministry that we are into already. But one thing is to tell Him. Another thing is to trust Him. Many talk to God, but they don't trust God. <laughs> they don't trust Him that He can do it. They don't trust Him that He can help them. They don't trust Him that He can guide them. They don't trust Him that He can lead them. They say, oh, I believe in Him. I've talked to Him, but I don't he, things of God is always delayed. It's better I do it my own way. Some are even doing their own way, and they present what they are doing to Him, <laughs> which is wrong. <laughs> 
But when you trust him, when you tell him, and you trust him, the Bible says, and he will bring your way to pass. Committing it to him, trusting him, and the result is bringing it to pass. There is nothing we commit into the hand of this helper that will not perfect. When you commit everything, that is why we need him. That is why you need him at this era. That is why you need him at this very moment. That is why we need him at this period in time. We need this helper that will enable us to endure whatsoever we are going through. It will enable us to endure whatsoever we are going through. And one thing I want us to know this evening is that everything that we are going through, our Father knows about it. Oh, I love this Father. Our Father knows about everything that you are going through. Everything you are enduring, it knows about his. That is why the Bible made us to know in the book of Romans chapter 8, verse 28. It said, and we know that in all things, God works for the good of those that love him. That is, all things work together for good unto them that love this God. Not unto them that love him alone. He said, and unto them that are called by his purpose. Meaning, you are part of those people that are called by God. When God calls you, everything will work together for you. Even what you are going through is working for your own good. Even this, I was telling someone, I said, even this pandemic is working for our good as well. The Bible says, out of the carcass comes honey. Hallelujah. Even when you least expected, all you need to do, why don't you open your mind? Why don't you commit everything to his hand? Why don't you say, this helper should help and guide you through in this very journey in life. He will surely do it. That is one thing I love about this father of ours, the father of our Lord, Jesus Christ. Jesus was telling Mary, he said, my father, your father, my God, your God. Meaning, it's not only my father, he's your father as well. Not only is he my God, he's your God as well. The same privilege I have as his son is also the same privilege you have as his son. Though Jesus, the Bible says, this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. I tell people, likewise you, the word is coming, the same word that came to Jesus, I say, this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. The same word is coming to you, that this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. Please, and when he's pleased with you, he will guide you through this very moment. He will lead you through this very moment. All you need to do, all we need is the helper. And the helper is Holy Spirit. And that is what we need. And the same spirit that worked with our Lord Jesus Christ is working with somebody today in the name of Jesus. Is working with you today in the name of Jesus. The same spirit that raised Jesus from dead is the same spirit that is working in you right now. It's the same spirit that is helping you right now. And it's the same spirit that is enable you to endure this very moment right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Let us open our Bible to the book of 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse number 1. Amen. 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse number 1. Paul was admonishing Timothy. Paul was talking to Timothy here. He said, he said You then, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus. Meaning, as a child of God, as a believer, there is a grace that we have in Jesus Christ. Whenever we talk about grace, many thought, oh, grace, what is grace? Grace, Jesus is the grace. He said, be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus. Meaning that when you have Jesus, you have that grace. Grace to be able to endure whatsoever you are going through. Grace to be able to endure that temporal time, that temporal suffering that you thought, oh, is permanent. There is no suffering that is permanent. There is no uh, pain that is permanent. One thing is that they can come as heavy, but they are not permanent. But what is permanent is that which you do not see. The Bible call it eternal. And that eternal come through our Lord Jesus Christ. When you have him, you have eternal life. 
and when you have him, you will be strong. As Brother Paul was admonishing Timothy, he said, Be strong, it doesn't matter what you are facing. Be strong, it doesn't matter what is coming your way in this journey. He said, Be strong, it doesn't matter the acquisition that you've been acquitted of. Be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus. Meaning that when you have Jesus, the Bible says, As many that know their God, they are strong. Meaning, when you know who you believe, you are strong and do exploit. There is one of the Yoruba had it that say, he said, those that know their God, they will use it to hit their head. Amen. He said, on a, 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 I, I forgot the way they say it in Yoruba. On a, when I think Barry, whatever. As in, because you are confident in what you believe. Likewise, as a believer, as a Christian, as a born again child of God, you must be strong in the grace that we have in Jesus Christ. That in, in doing that, that makes us to be able to endure every moment in life it will enable us to endure every difficulties it will enable us to see things as just oh all this is, is temporal do you ever know that many people are even losing faith in this very era many are not believing in god anymore many say oh where is he when he allow all this to happen to me where is he when he allow my business to be like this when is he when he allow the enemy to attack me but the Bible said, all things are working together for your own good. Not for your own good alone. He said, unto them that are called by his purpose. You are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and holy nation. And you are the cities built upon the hill that your glory can never be hidden. And I pray that the glory of God in your life will not be hidden in the mighty name of Jesus. Because Amen. you are the light into the world. You are the epistle that the world are reading. And when they see you, they will show, when they see your good work, they will give glory to your Father, which is in heaven, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And during the moment, and during the time, and during that hardship, nobody pray for hardship, nobody pray for suffering, but it's part of life. It's part of this journey we are in. It's part of the gospel as well. Jesus suffered this as well. Paul suffered this as well. The apostles, they suffered this as well. But what happened? They endured to the head. But how did they endure it? That is what we are talking about this evening. There is one fellow that enabled them to enjoy it. There is one personality that helped them to enjoy it. And that is why Jesus said, and I will pray that person, that personality to come. And that personality has come as a believer, as a born again Christian. When you believe in God, he said, as many that believe and receive him, there is even between for you to believe and to receive. So many believe and they did not receive it. He said, but as many that believe and receive, he gave them power to become the son of God, authority to be son of God. Meaning that when you believe and you receive, the same helper that helped Jesus, he said the same spirit that, we, that raised Jesus from death, we quicken our mortal body. That is, it will enable us to endure this very moment. It will enable us to endure the trial. It will enable us to endure the tribulation. It will enable us to endure whatsoever we are going through. Because all those things are temporal compared. To that which we did not see. And that which we did not see, the Bible says, they are eternal. Amen. Second Timothy chapter 2, verse number 3. You therefore must endure. You therefore must endure hardship as a good soldier of what? Of Christ. Paul is still admonishing Timothy here. He said, you therefore must endure the hardship as a good soldier of Christ. Bro, do you know that there are so many believers <laughs> they cannot endure little hardship. They say, ah, as a believer, I cannot endure that. Christ has died for me. So therefore, I uh, um, how do they used to say it in this modern uh, Christianity? in this microwave all this microwave christianity that we are into he said he said oh christ has died for me so therefore all this thing cannot happen sometimes in this journey in this very journey we belong bro you see devil throws stone of confusion and throws stone of hardship 
especially when you profess Jesus as your, as your personal Lord and Savior. I don't mean those people that did not genuinely believe. When you genuinely believe in Christ, there are so many things you will throw away. There are so many things you will not be able to do. And all those things, you know, devil will bring it to your face. <laughs> he will surely bring it to your face. Can you endure that very moment? For example, maybe you've been doing some things, bad, bad things before. But the very moment you accept Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, you cannot do all those things anymore. And what happened? Maybe there are some money you've been seeing that you haven't seen those money anymore. Maybe there are some beautiful clothes you are buying, you cannot, you don't even have money to buy them anymore. Maybe there are some places you are going, you cannot go there anymore. But you know, devil will not bring it to your face as if, oh, you begin to suffer. Oh, I'm just killing myself. I'm suffering. Oh, what is happening? Oh, I cannot even see all those uh, coni coni money anymore that I used to see those days. You know, I cannot even lie to do this anymore. I cannot even steal anymore. Oh, you see, all those things, you can't do it anymore. Not because you are pretending, but the Holy Spirit that is in you will not be, you won't even be able to do it again. See what the Bible says, what the Bible said that the helper is going to help us to do. In John chapter 14, verse 26, what did he say? He said, but the helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will say in my name, he will teach you all things. He will teach you all things. Meaning that when you are in Christ, when the Spirit of God has taken over, he will teach you how to walk this journey. He will teach you how to it will enable you, it will teach you how to endure that little hardship. It's not going to be for long. I've been there before. I've been there before. And I can tell you categorically that that moment may look so sweet. <laughs> it may look so palatable. But they are just, they lead to destruction. But when you are now in Christ, it may look as if you are suffering. But that suffering is just for a moment. Mm -hmm. And when the Spirit of God begins to teach you, He begins to direct you, at the end, you just see that, wow, Father, I thank you for this moment. Mm -hmm. I thank you for this time. <laughs> but I posted something in the book of 2 Timothy chapter 4, chapter 3, verse number 1 to 4. I love this so much. I love this so much. Let us all open. It's very important. We are going to pray later, please. It's very important. Second Timothy chapter. <laughs> Hallelujah. He's talking about us. He's talking about us. He said, but know this, but know this, that in the last day, perilous time will come. Verse number two said, for men will both be lover of themselves. Lover of money, <laughs> they will not be able, they won't want to leave all those things. They cannot suffer, <laughs> they cannot endure, they cannot endure. They want they, they will be the lover of themselves, lover of money, boaster, proud, blasphemous, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, unloving, unforgiving, slander, without self control. Brutal, despair of good, traitor, headstrong, alty, lover of player, lover of player rather than the lover of God. These are the things that is happening when you look around you, bro. When you look around you, sister, even in the church of God, everyone is just lover of money. Everybody is running after all these things. For who is ready to endure the pain of the cross? Who is ready to endure this? <laughs> who among us is ready to endure? But do you know one thing I have come to tell you this evening? Do not lose focus. Never lose focus. Even in this journey, don't lose focus. There is a goal ahead. The ministry may look so big. Let me use big now. Do not lose focus. 
people we entice you with beautiful things do not lose focus jesus was enticed with the beauty of the world but he never lose focus jesus was enticed with the riches of this world despite the fact he is the creator of, of it all but he never lose focus that is why the bible says something in the book of hebrews chapter number 12 verse number 2 he said looking on to jesus looking on to him do not lose focus do not lose direction endure endure the pace just for a little moment he said looking on to jesus auto finishes of our faith for whom for the joy that was set before him endure that very moment hallelujah what a joy he saw it he saw the glory he saw the beauty many of us that not endure even when we see the beauty they say oh it's too far how oh, is it's too far god have already showed you mm. how many mm. eyes are crossing that our ears are fed that as the only height of men what the lord mm. asked for us he now says something. He said, For the Spirit of the Lord has revealed them unto us. Meaning that the Spirit of God is the revealer of all things. Hallelujah. He is the revealer. <laughs> you see, he said, He will bring it unto all remembrance. That is, when the Spirit of God is in the man, He will surely break everything that God has said concerning you unto you, so that you will not lose focus. So that you will set your eyes alone on Jesus. He said, Who endure the pain of the cross? He endure it in the hand. He endure it. Despite the shame, and I sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. If he did not endure that moment, if he did not endure the time, if he did not endure the pain, he won't be able to sit at the right hand of God. If he saw the beauty the devil has shown unto him, wow, the world is so beautiful. Remember, he was the son of man at that time. <laughs> Jesus was the son of man. He was born as you have been born. He was born. He has flesh. He has blood. He has feelings too. Though he was God, a man. The Bible says, and the world become flesh and dwell among us. Good. But he was born to experience all we are experiencing. He was hungry. <laughs> he slept. He was tired. He slept. But that's that. The Bible says, he has seen the joy, the glory, the beauty. He said, no, I rather endure, I rather suffer the pain of the cross now because I know where I'm going. I know tomorrow. I know what God has for me. And I'm telling you this evening. The Bible said in the book of Jeremiah, he said, I have a plan for you. I know the plan and the thoughts I have towards you. He said not to harm you, not to make you suffer, not to make you go through pain. Though what you are saying is just temporary. But he said he has a beautiful tomorrow for you. Are you here this evening? You feel I'm like giving up. I have tried all this while. Nothing is happening. Nothing is happening. Or endure for a little moment. Oh, I have been believing God for all, all this while. Despite the fact I'm a Christian. I people people abuse me. Oh, you keep going to church every day. Nothing is happening in your life. You keep praying every day. Nothing is happening in your life. My sister, endure. Oh, you keep praying, you keep praying, you keep fasting from morning to night, nothing is happening. Endure. If you can, allow the Holy Spirit to help you. When the Spirit of God is with you, He will guide you through. And that is the message I have come to give to somebody tonight. That you need to endure this moment. 
this world of pandemic, the year of pandemic, as if nothing, the world is going to come to an end. Who knows that things will come this way? And that is why Brother Paul was saying then, he said, for that time we come, like now. And it is that is why I just love the scripture. I love the Bible because it's happening in our eyes. He said that time we come where people will be the lover of themselves, the lover of money. People will be running from one miracle house to one miracle house. They say, oh, there is one prophet that has come to Luxembourg. We rush there. Oh, there is one prophet that is coming to Jamaica. We rush there. We, there is one prophet that can solve your problem. You rush there. But you forgot him. There is an helper that God, even Jesus said, the Father will send and he will help you. Why don't you hold on to him tonight? Why don't you call upon his effort tonight? Is there anything you are going through in your marriage? Why don't you commit it to this hand of this helper? Is there anything you are going through in your business? Why don't you commit it into the hand of this helper? Is there anywhere they will have been throwing arrows into your family or into your own life, into your career? Why don't you talk to this helper? Helper, I need you. Help me through. You are the only one that can help me through this journey. You are the only one that can take me through. Because the word of God says, and when the helper will come, he will teach you all things. Meaning, he will teach you a way of escape. He will teach you even a way to succeed. He will teach you how to succeed, how to make it, how to get this right, perfectly right. He will teach you how to do it. And more to it, he will remind you the son and daughter of whom you are. And he will remind you the promises of your father towards you. Don't you remember? This is what your father has said towards you, that you are the head and you are not the tail. Remember, this is what your father has said concerning you, that we make a way for you where there is no way. Remember, this is what your father has said concerning you, that he has placed you above principalities and power. Remember all these things. That is one of those things that the head power will surely tell us. He will remind us of it. When you know all these things, you will have peace because you have Jesus. He said in this war, there will be tribulation, there will be trial, but be of good cheer because I have conquered the world for you. He has overcome the world for you. The battle you need to fight has been fought already. The victory has been given. Hallelujah. The book of First John made us to know. He said, who are those people that overcome? He said, those are overcome are those that believe that Jesus is the Son of God. They are the overcomer. Those that believe that he is the Son of God. He is, he is and he needs to come. Those are the people that overcome the world. And I want to tell you this evening, that you have overcome the world of shame. You have overcome the world of pain. You have overcome Amen. The, 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 the world of suffering in the mighty Amen. name. Amen. Oh God will lead you and will guide you in every area of your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we give you all the praise this evening. I just want to thank concerning my brothers and my sister. Is there anyone among you right now that is going through one trouble or the other? I decree solution into your life right now in the name Amen. of God. Where you are believing God for solution, when you are trusting God, any area you are believing God for wonders, you are believing God for miracle, you are believing God for turn around. I decree and I declare in the name of Jesus, turn around is on your way right now in the name Amen. of Jesus. God Amen. is turning your situation around right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I decree and I declare, God is sending Amen. an helper onto you right now and helper Amen. is on the way. And help her is on the way. As you are Amen. enduring this moment, as you are enduring this moment, as you are enduring Amen. this moment, that joy that oh, I have set before you, you will not meet it in the name of Jesus. Because Amen. Jesus endured the pain of the cross. You have seen. Because the glory that you have seen. Because the beauty that you have seen. God is showing that beauty right now. You will not meet Amen. Amen. Jesus. God is showing rest right now you will not miss the place of your rest in the name of jesus and amen who is throwing upon your way i think you try right now in the name of jesus because the bible he said no weapon form against you that will prosper and every thought that rise up against you you condemn it right now i put to condemnation 
every evil tongue, every evil tongue that wants to do suffering, every evil tongue that wants to do pain, I condemn them right now in the name of Jesus. I decree Amen. upon your life right now. I decree victory upon your family right now. I decree victory upon your business right now. I decree Amen. victory upon your right now in the name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. You will not know shame. Mm-hmm. No pain. Amen. No suffering in the Amen. name of Jesus. The suffering oh, is just temporary compared mm. to the glory. The glory that is set before you. You will mm. not make glory in the name of Jesus. I Amen. Glory in the name of Jesus. You will Amen. Not glory in the name of Jesus. I Amen. That supersede human understanding into your life right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I peace, joy that supersede human understanding come into your life right now, come into your home right now, come into your family right now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, thank you, Lord. Anyone that has been waiting is your pillow that has been praying, I've been crying, Lord. When will you do this thing for me? I've been in Europe for long. I've been in Europe for all these years. I cannot account for anything. Lord, when will you turn my life around? People are mocking me. They are making jest of me. I pray right now, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, God will change your situation. You will have testimony. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Testimony in the Amen. mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I, Thank you, Lord. Go for the fruit of the womb. I pray in the name of Jesus. As the Bible says, and go remember Hannah in this era. You are being remembered for good in Jesus. Amen. Amen. Era, you are being remembered. Amen. Good in the name of Jesus. Amen. Said, remember, Anna, I open a womb. Your womb is being opened right now in the name of Jesus. Amen. In that womb, all this while, mm. at the foundation of the name of Jesus, mm. those chains are being broken in Amen. mighty name. I Amen. For peace, peace, peace to that Amen. family. Peace into that family. Peace Amen. into that family. In the Amen. name of Jesus. Thank Amen. you, Father. Thank, Thank you, Lord. Daddy will worship you. And I pray for this Amen. that you've given to your soul. My Father, Lord God Almighty. Despite the little beginning, they are starting this ministry right now in UK. I pray through this ministry. Many will come to the point of light in Jesus' name. Amen. Many that are in darkness through this ministry, light will shine into their home. The Amen. light will shine into every nook and cranny of UK in the name of Jesus. Amen. I pray and I pray for you right now, my brother. The power to endure this moment. Mm. It looks so difficult. But there is a glory that has been said before you. Mm. You will know the name of Jesus. Amen. I pray and I pray for you. I pray for your family right now. The power of God will uphold you. Amen. He will take you higher in the name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. And I pray wherever you start to speak, wherever you start to minister, ever you back your word in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen your message with signs and wonders in the name of amen. Jesus. Amen. Amen. Added to Christ. Amen. You will know your whole gospel for you will preach the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus amen. And teach all nations. Teach them what I have taught you. Teach them what I have taught you. You will teach everyone what Christ has taught you in the name amen. of Jesus. I Amen. pray for power. I pray for grace of God upon your life, Amen. Jesus. And I pray for Amen. all members right now. 
wherever you may be, I pray may the Lord God Almighty be with you. May the goodness of God rest upon you. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank, Thank you, Lord. Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. The Spirit of God added to the church in their thousands. In their thousands. In their thousands. I pray everyone will begin to add to this ministry. Amen. That Amen. ministry will be given to everybody in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank, Thank you, Lord. Lord. Thank you, Lord. Become the home of prayer. Your mm. heart become the house of testimony in the Amen. name of Jesus. Thank Amen. you. We Thank give you Lord. all the praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Amen. Once again, before I leave, I want to thank you, my brother. Thank you for inviting me. And uh, we thank God for technology. Uh, who knows that I uh, work up be here in Belgium and you can minister in UK, you can minister in Saudi Arabia, you can minister in mm-hmm. Part of the wisdom that God has given. He said, at the latter day, this kind of wisdom will come. And we bless God for this wisdom. And I want to thank you God, for inviting me. May the Lord bless you. And I want to thank everybody that has joined us this evening. May the goodness of God be upon you in the name of Jesus. Amen. And ability Amen. to endure this moment is released upon you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's been a wonderful time in the presence of God. And I'm believing God that we have all been blessed. Every single one of us. If you're joining us on YouTube, if you're joining us on Facebook, if you're joining us from the comfort of your home, in the bus, wherever you are, I know God has really blessed you mightily, mightily. God has inspired you. He has opened your understanding to know that it is the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit. I got a whole lot from what the man of God has spoken about this evening. And I want to thank God for your life, sir. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. We appreciate you a lot. We appreciate you. And we know that next time when we call you, I know you are going to answer our call to come and bless us from the throne of grace. I know so many of us have been blessed a whole lot. This is a time, a, a, a perilous time, a trying time, a trying time where every single one of us we need words like this we need words from the throne of grace that god has promised to release on the last day i want to thank god that even we that we are in the united kingdom and our brother that is in belgium and so many of you that are all around the world that are watching us it is the time that we need to embrace the holy spirit let us give him the time let us give him everything he needs to tell us, to inspire us, to remind us of the things that he hears from the Father. And he says in this time, like the man of God has said, in this time, he will remind us, he will teach us all things, all things. And just like man of God has said about Timothy, that that grace, he should abound in that grace. And I know we all have the grace of God upon our lives. And I want to encourage us as he has told us today, let us endure let us endure no matter what comes our way no matter what happens in pandemic in economic crisis whether thick whether thin in the ministry in our family if things are not working as you thought it should just hold on just hold on looking on to jesus the author and the finisher of our faith let us hold on on to christ he is the only one that can see us through and i pray as the man of god has prayed for us so shall it be in our lives in the name of jesus everyone that is waiting everyone that is trusting god everyone that is looking up to god for one thing or the other as the man of god has prayed for us it shall be released upon us in the name of jesus thank you very much for coming thank you very much for coming god bless you man of god we pray that the lord almighty will replenish your your strength in the mighty name of jesus the virtue that has gone out of you will be multiplied in the mighty name of jesus in multiple for the lord will release upon you the unctions from above to spread the word of god across europe across the whole world and lives will be transformed so shall it be in jesus mighty name we are praying amen a quick announcement uh it's time to go 
you have greatly been blessed you have greatly been blessed please 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 join us again on sunday our next service is on sunday morning by 10 a.m 10 a.m sunday morning and that same sunday we'll be having uh, a program a one month program that's four sundays in the month of march it's going to start on sunday night by 11 55 11 55 p.m uk time please get in touch with us if you need us to calculate your time and check the time with you when you should join us it's going to be from 11 55 p.m uk time it's going to be an awesome night before god god is going to deliver there's going to be a prophetic utterances there's going to be healing there's going to be salvation there's going to be deliverance of every sort let's come every sunday night by 11 55 p.m and all through the month of uh um march we have invited men of god from glasgow from uk here all around the world they're going to come and minister into us wherever you are it doesn't matter if you're not in the united kingdom just follow the church link and we are going to be connected together all around the world and we are going to be blessed and i know ours will not be difficult for god to do in the mighty name of jesus god bless you and we'll continue again next week wednesday of for our bible study for another exciting time before the presence of god to inspire us and show us what he wants to show us just as he has shown us today and i know we will all be blessed in the mighty name of jesus but for the sake of our time let us just bow down our heads as we pray and so heavenly father we pray once again tonight we ask of god that the entrance of your word that has given life to us we continue to give understanding to us even understanding to your son that you have used for us tonight in the mighty name of jesus we pray oh god that every soul every ears that is hearing us from all around the world we pray whatever situation they are passing through right now the grace of god that passes all understanding will rest upon them even as they have heard this word in the name of jesus and they will persevere they will wait upon the lord because the word of god said they that wait upon the lord shall renew their strength they shall mount up with wings like eagles they shall run and not faint they shall walk and not be weary lord we pray even as we have all heard your word the grace to stand still and hold on and look unto you even in this time lord you grant and release upon us in the name of jesus thank you heavenly father as we depart tonight lord we pray we are still connected and we pray that lord your grace will hold us together in the name of jesus the spirit of god that you have promised us we continue to hold us all together even till the last day thank you heavenly father as we sleep tonight every single one of us wherever we are in the world those that are joining us from indonesia we pray the spirit of god will be released upon you it will guide you it will uphold you and those of us that will be sleeping now we pray that lord almighty will be with us thank you heavenly father we release once again the grace to preach the gospel upon your son that you have used tonight lord empower him lord uphold him lord hold him high in the name of jesus thank you heavenly father in jesus mighty name we have prayed amen may we say the grace together in fellowship the grace of the lord jesus christ the love of god and the fellowship of the holy spirit be with us now and forevermore amen surely goodness and message of follow us all the days of our life and we shall dwell in the house of the lord forever and ever amen thank you for coming god bless you sir we appreciate you and see you all on sunday church god bless you goodbye and good night for now thank you